Hey everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Mehdi from TG Redbox channel and today I'm going to talk about how to create this kind of embroidery pattern effect inside the painter with a native feature that we have and turn this photo to this inside the painter. So let's do that. I'm going to take the photo to the Photoshop and create some mask and bring it back into the painter and working on it. Do you spend endless hours sitting at your desk like I used to? Recently, I upgraded to a flexi-spot standing desk and ergonomic chair, and I cannot believe how this small change boosts my productivity and creativity during the work time. With a simple touch, the desk adjusts to perfect height, letting me transition between sitting and standing pose with ease. It helps me to keep my health and reduce backaches, and the ergonomic chair adds incredible comfort during sitting hours, making long work sessions enjoyable and pain-free. Beyond comfort and the health, this desk offers a sleek and luxury design with plenty of space for all your gears. It's perfect for your home studio or offices. Ready to upgrade your workspace? Check out the FlexiSpots option through the link below and transform your workday with these amazing add-ons. Okay, now we are in the first phase and we want to create the color mask for the generator that we have inside the painter. And there are some tips and tricks that I'm going to share with you for creating this kind of mask here. But the process is just doing a repetitive work. So I'm going to explain you how to do that and stop the video and show you the final mask here. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, for the first section, I'm going to fix the, you know, the perspective perspective just a simple perspective crop okay now it's much better and we need to pick each color as a different mask okay in the painter you can create a color mask with the color on it i mean you can define which kind of color that you want to have in the specific area like i want to have the red here or just the yellow here and inside the painter you couldn't change that easily okay but you can create black and white mask here per each color okay so basically if we have five color on the pattern we need to have five different black and white mask for each color individually okay so uh, i'm going to create the single mask with the color on that so you can do it by your own in it in the other way okay so uh, let's pick the color the easiest way is just create a solid color and pick the color that you want for example i'm going to play with the green area here okay and in the mask i'm going to remove that turn off the color and let's go for selecting the area okay for selecting area we have a bunch of way to select but but right now i prefer to use the quick selection tool okay to create a super fast mask okay i just click and drag on the green area hold the shift for adding the green area to my selection like this one and at the end you can go back to the something like polygon lasso tool or lasso tool press alt to remove the area that you don't want okay or just hold the shift and just add the area that you want to have in your selection okay so let me complete this phase and another tip for selection here is you can increase the brightness and the contrast here on this image i'm going to the image adjustment and run the brightness and contrast okay bring up the contrast and a little brightness okay and now with the quick selection tool i can select this area so much easier faster and uh, cleaner okay but you can do this step in any way that you want so i'm going to complete the selection here okay and now as you can see i just select all the area that contain the green color okay and let's select the color field and just press on layer mask okay and turn on the color field and as you can see we just create a mask here and we can go to the filter blur gaussian blur and make it a little more smoother okay and you can trace the border create the vector line and make it super clean but right now for this tutorial it's okay and 
another tip that we should know before jumping to the Substance Painter is uh, we should avoid from this kind of unified mask, okay? For example, if you go to the generator and give it this mask, it's going to create the lines uniformly all over this area because the mask is joined together, okay? So for this phase, we can select the mask, go to the mask, select the brush tool, okay? Pick the black color and just remove the connection like this, okay? So we have individual shape and we get individual middle pattern inside the painter, okay? That's it. So I'm going to pause the video and create the color mask and show it to you before jumping to the painter. Okay, and now we have the color mask here, okay, as you can see. So I just remove the background and just create the separate shape for each leaf and the color like this. And we want to save this mask, the color mask, as a PNG format without the background and bring it to Substance Painter. So for this purpose, I'm going to use Alt, Control, Shift, S. It's a shortcut for save for web, okay? And the format should be on the PNG. And that's it. We have the color mask and we can jump to the Substance Painter and create our embroidery pattern. Okay, now we are in Substance Painter and for the base material, I just use the fabric denim wash out the smart material from the library. And for the leather, also I use another smart material comes with the Substance Painter library itself. And for the white parts, I'm going to add the material inside the Marmoset or Unreal Engine, depends on the way that I'm going to render that. So let's talk about how to create the embroidery pattern from our mask, okay? So I'm going to create a fill layer here, okay? Let's call it pattern. And I just select the layer and inside the material mode, let's search about EMB and choose this base material from the library. But for accessing this material, you need to install the latest version of the Substance Painter, okay? So uh, I'm going to select that, okay? Now we have this effect here and and I'm going to scroll it down in the image input. Let's put the overall color that we have. Okay, and now we have something here. So basically I just need to go here to the UV wrap, put it on none, go to the 2D window, adjust the mask like this to get the right proportion, position, and etc. Okay, that's great. And now it's time to focus on the parameter that we have. Okay, first of all, we have eight different color. It means you can create a mask up to eight different color. And this filter is going to select each color, create the embroidery pattern, and just give the color that you put on the mask that you create. Okay, and in the stitch finish section, you can go here and choose the custom color, but it's going to affect on all part of the image that you put here, okay? So basically, if you want to have different layer with total control on the color, you need to create different masks for each color and create separate layers and put the image and control the color separately, okay? So I'm going to turn off the stitch color and for each color, you can go inside the settings and the parameters, okay? And you can play with the height amount, as you can see, for seeing this section, you need to go to the shader in the displacement and tessellation, enable it, give it a low value like 0 0.05 and increase the subdivision count to have this kind of effect inside the painter. Okay, so uh, you can turn off the color. Oh, okay, I need uh, the pattern, the whole pattern, but I don't want to have any kind of stitches or the embroidery pattern on the blue color. Okay, I can go to the color, just turn off the feel. That's it. You can change the design from steam, wheel, and split. Okay, so basically you can do anything you want here, like this for each color. And for the orientation, I highly recommend to give it to the auto because it's going to give the random orientation to each individual pattern. And in this way, you can have more natural look at the end, okay? But basically you can go here and put it on 45 and every pattern is going to have the same direction or 
orientation okay so let's put it in auto okay that's great and you can have these settings for each color separately okay so uh we have the channel section it's nothing uh do with the pattern itself we just can turn off or turn on the channel here and you have the technical parameter for example you can change the normal format type or just give the height range for the overall output that we have with this generator okay so basically the default value is totally fine but you can adjust it that's fine okay so um one of the most important option that we have inside the technical parameter is a resolution mode i highly recommend when you are going to play with the pattern with the position with the parameter here you just put the resolution mode in half or quarter but after finishing everything you just need to change this to the full to have the high quality border and the shape at the end okay so uh let's go back to the parameter itself we have the color you can choose between the one to eight for example in here i have six color so i can go with the six like this or i have seven so i can go with the seven the density it means you can increase or decrease the amount of the stitch that you have inside each region and area okay so uh right now i don't want to have this white line around the shapes so if i bring down the color from seven to the six it's going to mess up everything so i'm going back to the seven and in the color seven i need to turn it off so i don't have have any kind of white right now in here that's totally fine and for the density let's pick something like 300 okay that's a maximum value that we can have and let's talk about the design section so we have four different design the fill it means inside the each region we just have the inside stitches but if I choose the outline it means we just create the stitches on the border of each color okay and if I choose the fill and the outline it means we have the both side together and what about the top stitch again it's going to affect on the border but this time we have different type of stitches and style okay so basically in here i just need to have the feel because as you can see in the reference we don't have any kind of border effect in here okay so that's great and right now we can uh, play with the percentage of the feel and outline but we just choose the design as a feel so so we're not going to touch this option here but we are going to set the setting for the thickness and the length okay so basically i don't like to have this narrow line here so i'm going to increase the thickness of the stitch so you can bring down the thickness and have more narrow line but right now i have the thick stitch and i can bring down the density okay like this to feel the thickness here okay let's bring it up to 200 and play with the thickness that's great okay and now we can play with the length and it means we can decide about the length of each stitch that we have inside the each region okay so we have the parameter that allow us to blend or just add the blur effect on the border of the mask okay and we have a very important option the imperfection so if we don't have any kind of imperfection it means we just create the generic result as you can see without any human touching effect but if we increase the imperfection okay a lazy person like me just create this kind of stitches and we don't have the perfect edges here okay so that's it and we just master every parameter that we have in here inside the embroidery generator inside the substance painter i hope you like this video and from now on you just create the mask use this technique and add this kind of pattern to your work don't forget to subscribe our channel like this video share your mind in the comment section and be safe be creative bye